So we're back for the second week of MRO. This time the focus is on uh, failures and anomalies and most importantly of all, uh, free fire uh, capture because that's how the astronauts on board get most of their uh, provisions. So we'll learn how to use the arm to go out and capture all these uh, visiting vehicles. Yeah, looking forward to it because this is really what the, the job is all about. That's right, should be exciting. I'm in the high bay with Ed uh, Birchnell, training lead for the course. And Arm 2 right now is used, uh, it was used in the shuttle era for assembling the space station. So almost all of the elements that are not Russian were installed using Canon Arm 2. Now we use it primarily for catching visiting vehicles and for uh, supporting an astronaut during a spacewalk. So we could actually have somebody on the end of the arm that's 17 meters long and hanging out anywhere on the station in order to help change out a part or to put a new payload in place, anything really that needs to be done to uh, get the spacewalk done. You've got a number of other tasks here. You're going to set up the SSRMS for motion. Um, you're going to set up the lead as well. We'll go through this. And then you're going to begin tracking the motion and starting to move in towards one and a half meters. And before that one and a half meters, we're going to be putting the HDV into free drift mode, where we inhibit all the thrusters on HDV, and it just floats there with its residual rates. Currently, there are five unmanned cargo vehicles that bring provisions up to the space station. Three of these free-flying vehicles, including the Japanese HTV and the American Dragon and Cygnus capsules, cannot automatically dock to the space station. The astronauts on board must use the robotic arm to manually grab these vehicles and dock them to the station. The vehicles can be docked anywhere on the US or front half of the space station. This is much different than the European ATV and Russian Progress cargo vehicles, which use the same automatic docking system that the crews use on Soyuz. The disadvantage is that the Russian hatches are small, which limit the size of the equipment that ATV and Progress can bring up. ATV and Progress use the Russian Coors radio navigation system to automatically dock to the Russian or aft side of the space station without having to use the robotic arm. Two weeks and we're done. Well done. Yeah, well we done, Andy. We can now control the uh, Canon Arm 2 in space. We have our little MRO patch to show that we've completed the course. Well done. You got yeah. your got your wings. Awesome.